Hey, Biscuits. Do you want to come along today for a behind the scenes photo shoot? Oh yeah. So I'm in downtown. I'm going to do a whole Patreon shoot. Um, I have videos to film and then photographs as well. So I brought a whole bunch of costumes and I will do a little costume because I won't do a try on because, you know, Patreon's all burlesque. Um, but I will, I will show you them and give you an idea of kind of the style of what we're going for. And I love this view. I think this is going to be so much fun to film against. Uh, and it's going to be a whole bucket load of September content. Oh yeah, because the theme for September on Patreon is going back to the university, back to school on the University of Self-Care and really exploring, you know, our physical self-care, our emotional, and how we're connecting what we've been learning in self-care over the last year. And I think it's going to be fun. It's very saucy and playful and I hope in parts it'll it'll come out deep we'll see <laughs> I have outlines for what what we're covering okay I have to go and get the kiddos nibbles so that they can go off and have their their snacky times and then I can do my my work oh yeah okay biscuits I'll see you around okay biscuits let's get this photo shoot going ready Ta -da! Okay, we are just about ready to do some photos. I love bringing you on the behind the scenes things. I think it's so much fun to include you biscuits in, I don't know, elements of the creative? Is that the good way to put it? You know, kind of the inner workings of my terrifying noggin. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so many things that I enjoy online. Yes, my darling. Okay, she wants to make a cameo before we, before we begin filming. <laughs> my love. You know, I see the finished product and I'm like, oh, how did you make that? How did you create it? So I like bringing it on. Okay. That does not, no. Well, you can take that if you want. Okay, let's photograph. Ready? <laughs> hey biscuits. I hope that you've enjoyed that behind the scenes. Um, it took me a little while to actually figure out how to show some of the costumes because one of the things I love about burlesque is that it's playful, it's silly, it's saucy, but it's definitely not necessarily something that I can show without having a yoga onesie on underneath on this channel. <laughs> so I, it took me a while to come up with like, what can I wear underneath all of these? I thought about like just wearing regular clothes, but I thought, oh, that they won't lay right. So I thought, okay, yoga ones, they work. Um, <laughs> but, and I was talking about this on Instagram actually the other day. For me, burlesque came around at a time in my life where like, I didn't know I needed it. I didn't know that I needed that guidance or that, not even guidance, that inspiration to love myself. Not flaws and all, but just all of me. Right? You know? And it's not 100% of the time there are moments when I have self-doubt or I'll see an angle on my body or, you know, I'm on this postpartum journey, right? I'm just now seven months postpartum with my second kid and, you know, each postpartum period has been different and my body has changed in different ways. And being online, right, you get a lot of nasty mean trolls that say mean things. And what I have learned is that when somebody's mean comment either in person or online really gets to me it's because that's an insecurity that I am trying to push down and suppress or I'm trying to get away from 
And so what I've used that for is when people make remarks or when I make remarks to myself and my internal dialogue is negative on my body or myself or my journey, I take that as a moment to like, oh, well, let's tend to myself a little bit. Let's look at where that's coming from. You know, why do I need to look a certain way? Why am I only valuable in my own opinion based on a certain size or a certain weight or a certain look? Like, that's silly, right? Like, it's kind of deprogramming yourself from what you expect. And for me, burlesque has so much been the catalyst for that of really learning to just be comfortable in my skin. You know, not retouching photos that I put on Patreon. Not, I know some gals that do like full body paint to be in burlesque costume and I just, you know, toss on a little eyeshadow. I don't even have foundation on right now. Um, you know, a little, little shiny lipstick always love. But just have fun with me as me and not try to make myself into something else or assume that my goodness, my worth is valued on something else, right? You know? And I love getting to go do fun photo shoots. Um, I have been kind of branching out from my Patreon work and doing kind of a wider scope of photos and videos and just really getting into it. Like, having fun with what I'm not with what I'm making and not focusing on what I'm not making or am I making enough or you know all the other little voices of things that could have should have would have right and just really enjoying enjoying the moment you know this is such a unique time of my life in my my season of of motherhood and being a woman and being a businesswoman and a creator and I've really if the year if the last year and a half has taught me anything it has really taught me to just go for it, to follow my bliss, to make what makes me happy into something that's a part of my daily life, you know? Um, I'm really trying to give myself grace and be kind to myself in this season of my life. And I talk about this a ton on Patreon. One of the unexpected things that has come about in that is that I've become naturally more thoughtful to the people around me because my needs are being met, not by other people, but by myself. And so I'm kind of able to realize and pick up on what other people's needs are, um, which is really impressive. If you hear baby cry in the background, she's being cuddled and loved. She probably just her brother just poked her in the face, so she's okay. <laughs> um, I realized, like if I heard a crying baby in the back, I'm like, why are you talking to the camera? Go with your baby. Baby's being totally taken care of. She's loved up. She just, you know, her brother likes to poke her in the face and harass her. <laughs> but yeah, burlesque has just been such such a gift. I love it. If you were interested in kind of exploring it with me on Patreon, you can go join. Um, the 20 and up tier is the one where I post the majority of videos. Probably the BFF tier and up um, are the best ones for like just the sheer quantity. Like you just want a ton of monthly videos and photos. That's where the most of them are. But the live chats and the photos and the videos are on, on all those tiers. And it's just, it's a fun community that we've been building. I love it. I love to see it grow. I love to see it kind of shift with seasons, you know? Um, I have my uh, OnlyFans a fitness course, which is like a totally different group of people that are into yoga and kind of calming um, workouts and things like that. And then Patreon is just this, it's got, Patreon has a wonderful, our Patreon community, personally. Obviously, I'm not all of Patreon. I didn't make that. I'm just on that site. Uh, it just has a good sense of humor. I feel like everybody I talk to on there, all of my patrons, they get in that burlesque is about humor and fun as well as sauciness, right? It's that kind of combination. So I like that about it. <laughs> okay, my biscuits. I must get on with my biscuiting for the day. I will see you in the next video. And I hope I will see you over on Patreon because what fun. This is, yeah. <laughs> we are going to have a... Pumpkin-tastic October. Um, yes, yes we are with our fabulous Paris costumes. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to bring you along for one of my location photo shoots. Um, I was gonna say I'll post some of the Patreon photos. I'll put a few in that are cropped, but most of them will just be on my Patreon page if you if you want to see those, cause just censorship stuff. <laughs> okay, loves, giant hugs. I hope that you feel wonderful in your body. I hope that you are tending to your self-care, and that it is making you joyful and that that joy is spilling over into your family and your life, where 
you just naturally want to make everybody else happy around you because you're so joyful from your self-care. See you around.